now the moment you've all been waiting for. He is risen. The theater production of the Easter story so that you, our children, understand the true meaning of Easter. It's not about bunny rabbits, Easter eggs, or whatever else the commercial uh, advertises. It's a very important message, and it's going to be told through the eyes of your peers, children. And I'm just going to invite the script writer and the director, Mark Gray, to say a few words before we start the production. As okay, yes, um, good afternoon. And first of all, I'd just like to thank you all for your patience. Um, we thought that the good, best idea would be to have all the children together and travel up on a coach together, um, because that's the way we can guarantee they'll get here early and safely together. <laughs> so, my apologies. <laughs> but yes, they are here now. Um, there's an adage in show business that you should never work with animals and, or children. Um, I've spent eight weeks working with these children and I think I'm going to ask them to change the adage, you should never work with animals. <laughs> the children are fine. Um, it's been a pleasure and honor, and an honor, and I'd like to say thank you that I was given the privilege. More than that, I think the play will speak for itself. It is, he is risen. Um, so come with us on that little journey as told by the children. I do hope that you enjoy. Thank you. It is time for me to go to Jerusalem. It is time for all of Jerusalem to know that I am he who the Father has sent. They must know that I am the King of the Jews and that they are my people. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. that never in my wildest dreams would I believe that such a thing could happen not in Jerusalem if the Romans hear of this we are doomed Jews came in to have another king we're finished don't worry my friend they will definitely hear about it they have spies everywhere but with a Jew 
really bring about his own demise and the destruction of an entire nation, but telling tales to the hated Romans? Yes. Uh, and the business of lazing Lazarus after four days, if word gets out, we will all be in chains. And this business about raising Lazarus, it has been four days since, Lazarus, since Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Surely we could convince the same Jews that would give away this man to the Romans to give him to us so that we can kill him. We cannot do it now. Why? Surely time is of the essence. What kind of Pharisee are you? It is Passover, the most sacred festival. If we murder Jesus now, the people will riot. Best wait. Best wait. Okay, we will wait, but not too long. This threat must be taken care of and quickly. We have had such a great time. Just think, Lord, when you have set up your kingdom, we'll be having fun like this every day forever. My kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not a political one. But you rid us of the Romans, yes? What kingdom can it be if we still suffer from the hands of our oppressors? I will not always be with you. To fulfill the scriptures, I must go, but I will send you a comforter in my place. Come, come into my home. If the Lord has to go in order to fulfill the prophecy, then we must be happy for him. Until then, come, come into my home. I'll be more than happy to host a party for our Lord, to show how much we love him, appreciate him, and honor him. Let the master sit down. Give him something to eat and something cool to drink. Let him see how much we love and appreciate everything he has done for us. And I will do more still. There is much more in my father's plan that I will do for all those that believe in me and will follow me. Why is she doing this? What sort of wasteful exhibition is this? She knows the prophecy of his death, and she's preparing him. That oil is expensive. It is the cost of a year's wages. Her wages, her oil, hers to gift. But how could she earn the money for it? I don't like it. A woman like that should not be so close to the master. That oil should be sold, and the money given to the poor. She does a good thing. The poor you will always have with you. I will be with you for only a short while more. She knows the good I have done in her life. I have saved her and she loves me for it. Her name will be remembered and spoken about amongst my followers forever. If only I could see that same love in you, Judas. It's wrong, I tell you. You'll all be sorry. Just 
her face Until at last She knelt before his feet And Lord, she spoke no words Everything she said was hard As she poured a love for the master From a box of alabaster So I've come to pour My praise on him Like oil From Mary's alabaster box So don't be angry If I wash his feet with my tears And I dry them with my hair mm -hmm. Cause you weren't there The night he found me You did not feel what I felt When he wrapped his love in all of this oil in my alabaster box. No one knows who you've been through. I can't forget the way life used to be. Cause I was a prisoner to the sin that me Into a little treasure box I thought I found a love Until the day when Jesus came to me And healed my soul With the wonder of his touch So now I'm giving back to him Well, what can he want? Perhaps he's lost. Perhaps the night angel will refresh your memory. God! Wait! Why so hasty? I know what you want. And I want the same thing. I propose we work together for mutual benefit and mutual reward. What is it that you want? What is it that we want? How do you propose that we work together? 
You want Jesus. And I can deliver him to you. You cannot get close to him, but I can. He will never see me coming. It's an ingenious plan. I will lead you to him. And the one that I kiss, him you must lead away. An ingenious plan indeed. And how much will this ingenious plan cost us? <sighs> cost? No one mentioned cost. There must be a cost. There's always a price. Hm. 30 pieces of silver. A fair price. A fair price. Indeed, a fair price. If you betray us, you will be sorry. Just know that it will be the one that I kiss. He would be a fool to betray us. Well, how wise can he be? He's betraying his own master and friend. It is so good to be celebrating this Passover with you, Master. It will be my final Passover with you all until we share it together in paradise. My time has come, so I want you all to take this bread as a reminder of the sacrifice I will make for you with my broken body. And also this wine, drink it and remember that I shall shed my blood as a remission of your sins, so you all can be reconciled with the Father who sent me. No one will take you, no one will shed your blood, and no one will take your body. The hour has come that son of man be glorified. This very night, one of my own will betray me. Is it, is I? I? Is is it, it me? me? It is for this reason that I came, that I would be betrayed. But woe to you who betrays me for it. It would be for you better if you had never been born. If you must leave us, Lord, Who's your strongest and best disciple? Allow me to wash your feet. You all want to lead. You all believe you are strong. But a true leader must be a servant. A true leader must be humble. You all want to lead, but before this night is over, you will all stumble and scatter like chaff in the wind. Not me, Lord. I am your servant. You will not wash my feet. And if these others run and stumble, but I will not stumble. I will defend you unto death. Peter, the devil has asked for you, but I have prayed for you. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Never, Lord. It has been prophesied. Now allow me to wash your feet or you will have no part with me. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place, I will receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Judas, it is time. Whatever you have planned to do, do it quickly. You all pray here. I will go up a little further and pray alone. Father, let this cup pass from me, but not because it is my will. May only your will be done. I suffer because I love you. Could you all not stay awake and support me for one hour? Master, we tried, but it's so late. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Look out, the betrayer is at hand. 
Remember, it'll be the one that I kiss. Master, I wanted to spend more time with you, but I did not know that you would come to the garden. His favorite place for quiet reflection and prayer? You didn't know he would come here? <sighs> there, it's him. Get him quickly before he gets away. Friend, why have you come? Betrayed down me with a kiss? Oh! No need for this, Peter. Know that I could pray to have 12 legions to come to destroy these people. Come on, quickly, take him to Pilate before he gets away. information on this man. We need an accusation and a witness so we can convict him. If he has spoken blasphemy, then we don't need a witness. If you don't know anything, you can just make it up and lie. But get your story straight. We need the records to so we gave this man a fair trial before we punish him. No one? Surely someone can tell me something bad about this man. Wait! He said he would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. That's blasphemy. Yes, blasphemy. Why don't you say something? Hopefully, you'll say something that will incriminate you. Are you the Christ, the Son of God? It is as you say it. You see? See, there it is, from his own mouth. Yes, his own tongue condemns him. That's blasphemy. Sentence him to death. Jesus of Nazareth is your friend? I have no idea what you are talking about. I know it's true. I heard him speak. I saw you with him. You and the others. But I know you were the closest. You're mistaken. All Galileans look alike. I'm sorry for the man, but I do not know him. He is your friend. Will you allow them to beat your friend as you stand by and say nothing? Listen. Do not make me start to swear and curse in front of all these good people and in the presence of the scribes and Pharisees. I'm a fisherman. You know I can. I tell you, I do not know him. I'm sorry for the man, but I do not know him. Peter, my beloved Peter, where are you? I am so weak. Face 
to face Darkness tries to steal my heart away Thank you, Jesus Mercy said no have authority to sentence this man to death, let us take him to Pilate. He will deal with him as he deserves. Rabbis, what is happening? Where are you going? We're going to Pilate to have him sentenced to death. But he's innocent. We should release him. You think we paid you? 30 pieces of silver just to release him? You are more foolish than you look. And right now, you look pretty foolish. We don't want that money. It's yours, blood money. Spend it well. <sighs> I betrayed innocent blood. Who cares? We got what we wanted. Enjoy your wealth. We cannot put that back in the treasury. It is tainted money. Let us buy a field and bury those who have no family and die in poverty. A very good idea. Come, let us go catch up with the others. Our time for glory has come. 
Coming through, coming through. Why have you brought this man to me? What crime has he committed? He claims to be a king. A king? And where is his kingdom? Here. He says he's king of the Jews. A king for the Jews. Very interesting. And what say you? Are you king of the Jews? It is as you say it. He, he says he can raise the dead. He says Jews should no longer pay taxes to Caesar. These are strong accusations. What say you? Why do you not respond? Do you not deny the accusations? If you will not speak to me, I will have no choice but to find you guilty. If I tell you, you will not believe. If I ask you, you will not answer. And if I do as you ask, you will not let me go. The next time you see me, I will be on the right hand of God. Pontius Pilate. I ask you to remember the great and generous tradition we have, that at the time of the Passover, you very graciously release one accused and convicted criminal. Pilate, if you'd only do that today, we would honor you. I will do as you ask. I will release the king of the Jews. No, we want Barabbas. Barabbas, but he's a murderer, a thief, a robber, and a terrorist. What has this man done? Cool. Crucify him! Crucify him! King of the Jews. Crucify him! Whip him and crucify him! And tell me, what evil has he done? Crucify him! Whip him and crucify him! Again. Pilate! You were put in this position as governor of Judea because you are a very wise man. Now is the time for you to use that wisdom. Have nothing to do with this man, for he is innocent. You know him? I have heard talk of great things he has done. And last night it came to me in a dream that his blood must not be on our hands, for he is innocent. People of Judea, scribes and Pharisees, do not crucify this man, for he is innocent. Let him be free. Let his blood be on us and our children. Do you with your king as you see fit. I wash my hands off him. They led him away He 
was battered, bruised, and beaten for the sheep who gone astray. He was a man of sorrows, well acquainted with our grief. He had to die for our sin and unbelief. And the beating, he never said a thing. With a crown of thorns and a purple robe, they mocked him as a king. To fire found a fault in him that he should have to die. The crowd cried out, away with him, he must be crucified. Behold the man, behold the man, the blameless he became, the perfect sacrificial the Jews. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Save yourself. You have saved others, yet yourself you cannot see, you cannot save. If you calm down now, we will all believe. 
my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's calling for Elijah. Elijah? Elijah cannot save him now. No one can save him now. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Look, he has died. We must take him down now. It would be breaking the Sabbath to leave him on the cross. It's right. Take him down and go home as quickly to welcome the Sabbath. Give me his body. I have a tomb that has never been used. Give me his body and let him be laid in my tomb. And when you bury him, make sure to put a guard yeah. over the tomb so that the disciples do not come <coughs> and try to steal the body and Don't say that he him. is risen. Just where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Let this be a prayer when we lose our. Guide us with you. 
us faith, so we'll be saved. What is that? No. Could it be one of the disciples coming to steal the body? They will never get past us. <laughs> Why are they surrounded by such great light? Stand ready to defend the tomb. No one must pass. Let us go to the tomb to anoint our Lord's body. We should go, but the tomb is secured. Who will roll away the stone? Maybe the caretakers will be there and help us. Who are you? What have you done with our Lord's body? Remember, remember he said the Son of Man should be delivered into the hands of sinful men, to be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Mary, follow me. Do not be afraid, for we seek Jesus who is crucified. He's not here, for Jesus of Nazareth has risen. But when... Why? 
rose from the dead and left the tomb. This is true. He has risen. Here, take this money. By food, by wine. If anyone asks, be sure to tell them he has not risen. Yes, he is still dead and the disciples took his body away. Do you understand? Is that clear? Go now. Our master is risen. Risen? Are you sure? Yeah, we were at the tomb and the angel. Angel? What angel? <coughs> the angel told us, told us that Jesus has been risen and he will meet all of you in Galilee as promised. We saw him buried in the tomb. It is the fulfillment of the prophecy. He had to die to pay the rental for our sin. He had to rise and live again. This is true. This is what he came to tell us and teach us. Then let me go to the tomb to check. Alive, you say? Well, I am not sure about that at all. If he's alive, then where is he? I want my master to be alive as much as you all do. Mary, I want it to be true, maybe even more than you. But until I see the nail prints in his hands, I will not believe. Fear not, I have risen as the scriptures have prophesied. Please fix me some food. You are hungry, master? I thought... You think this is a spirit appearing before you? Why? Have you not believed my daughters Mary and Salome? This is the gospel. Come, Thomas, see my hands, feel my side. I am a man. Your master has risen. It was necessary for me to die for the repentance and remission of sins to be preached to all nations. Three years I've spent with you, showing you who I am and why I am here. 
You were with me all this time and yet still struggle to believe. Now you have seen. Go and tell the world and anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And lo, I will be with you to ever until the end of the ages. Amen.
heaven, were you blessed? Awesome, awesome. Well, we don't want you to go away, and we do have uh, something to say, and we will invite the cast for He is Risen back shortly. But I'd like us to complete the program, and you'll see uh, how the order of things will run. So, praise team, are you going to do Worthy is the Lamb, and then If London Garner Children's Choir? Uh, prepare to come on straight after the praise team. Thank you. Thank you. 